Hi everyone, Brett McRae here on the Northern Ag Network with your farm and ranch news. Montana representatives Matt Rosendale and Ryan Zinke, along with Wyoming's Harriet Hageman, are co-sponsors of the American Wildlife Habitat Conservation Act. Introduced last week, the bill is designed to support locally-led wildlife conservation projects by boosting the federal and state funding for such endeavors. Sigrid Johannes with the National Cattlemen's Beef Association and Public Lands Council says the legislation is a long-awaited investment in locally-led conservation. I would say the biggest one is the funding for states and tribes to implement locally-led conservation projects with some important caveats on that funding. A press release from NCBA says the bill would prohibit federal dollars from being used for species actions that are not supported by local stakeholders, such as endangered species reintroduction. Farmers have until March 15th to enroll in USDA's key commodity safety programs for the 2024 crop year. We're talking about the Agriculture Risk Coverage or Price Loss Coverage programs administered through FSA. Those are, of course, designed to help protect growers from substantial declines in crop prices or revenue. In Montana, producers have completed 13,448 contracts to date, about 54% of the expected 20,000 contracts in 2024. Again, the deadline to revise elections and sign contracts for 2024 ARC and PLC is March 15th. The Northern Ag Network is back in an hour with your markets. I represent a lot of what ranchers' wives are, where they marry into the family. Coming in to establish ranch, the expectations of that is just absolutely overwhelming. You know, there's always stress with all families, but when you're not dealing with the stress outwardly, it will definitely impact everyone inwardly. You may feel alone, but you're not alone. Hello everyone, Brett McRae back here with the Northern Ag Network with your Ag News and Markets. 2023 was officially the smallest lamb crop on record here in the U.S., coming in just over 3 million head. This figure is from the 2023 Sheep Industry Review, commissioned by the American Lamb Board and compiled by the American Sheep Industry Association. Despite the contraction of the industry, ALB Chair Jeff Ebert says that there was some good news for lamb producers in the review including a significant decrease of imported lamb and mutton, improved, dr improved drought conditions, a small decline in production costs, and relatively high slaughter and retail prices. Feedlot supplies across the country were also down because of the smaller lamb crop last year. The disappointing cattle on feed report stands in opposition to strong market fundamentals at the end of last week. Two to five dollar increases in cash cattle trade box beef values back above three hundred dollars. In St. Ange on Friday, heavy five weight steers five to seven dollars better from three sixteen to three twenty four. And at the Newell's Sheepyards Thursday, two to four year old bread ewes sold from one hundred thirty seven to one hundred forty dollar one hundred forty five dollars ahead. Bear sentiment has persisted in wheat, corn and soybean markets. Traders have pretty consistently pointed to anemic export business for U.S. wheat, which has been at a steep price premium compared to the low cost offerings from Russia and Ukraine on the world market. That's all for your egg report. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.